We should remember the enemy, as they say, has a vote here. Two to six months is what they hope it will be. Right. But the problem is the, the fight against ISIS has somewhat slowed. Hundreds, if not thousands, of Kurdish rebels are heading up to north west Syria to fight Turkish troops mm -hmm. who are attacking Kurds up in that area. They see them all as being terrorists. So it's it's sort of treading water at this point against ISIS. The U.S. Uh, still has uh, that area along the Euphrates River to clear out of ISIS, but it's going to take longer now because of the rebels leaving the area. Leaving the area and going to fight their own battles elsewhere. Right. But does the United States have commitments to Syrian rebels? They do. Uh, the Syrian rebels, particularly the Kurdish rebels, are the best fighters against ISIS. They are the ground force against, against ISIS. And the U.S. is offering advisors and, more importantly, air aircraft, air attacks to help in this ISIS fight. And what they would like to see is the Kurds get a seat at the table for a sort of a post-Assad government in Syria. Uh, these talks going on in Geneva. So they are supporting them. But again, Turkey is against the Kurds. So that's, uh, that's a problem here. Trying to keep all this straight. Post-Assad government, you're reminding us there's a big civil war, which is a separate thing from the battle against ISIS. Uh, Bashar al-Assad is a leader who was opposed by the United States at one time. The U.S. has been supporting these uh, rebels uh, up to now. Assad is a leader who was opposed by the United States at one time. The U.S. has been supporting these uh, rebels uh, up to now. In that area. So one of the reasons the U.S. wants troops to stay is to prevent Iran from gaining more influence in uh, Syria.